Justin Agaki comes from Morgan Hill, California. Connor Bouchard comes from Collin, Georgia. Josh Clark from Maxville, Florida. Trip Rexroot, Appleton, Georgia. Kate Ritt, Highland Ranch. Cole Godfrey, Caden Switzer. Here we go. Caden Dickens. Some KTMs running out front. You want to finish that up? I'll let yeah, you do good. it. Luke, uh, Luke Geis, Hunter Cross, Hawk Hand, Aiden Tribe, Jason Pascal, Casey Bernard, uh, Michael Corcoran, Hunter DeSalva, Grayson Fair, Tyler Mashburn, uh, let's see, Mickey Durden, Noah Stevens, and Jesse Jacobson. All right, let's check in with our leaders here on the number 42. That's going to be Gage Linville. He has the number 41 right behind him. See if we can't pick who that is. That's Crockett Myers. So a couple of kids that train together like every day of the week, essentially. Right. It's Linville and Myers. Great start for Crockett Myers. I believe he's on the EBR KTM. There it is. There's the number four now on the Yamaha. So Myers, let's see, Myers. Maybe Larry Reyes. Myers on the 42 or 41. Yeah, he just There's got, the 42 of Linville. Crockett Myers go. still in the number two there spot. There we go, yep. And then there is the number. Trying to make out our third place shot. Is that the number four? I believe it is the number four. That says that Yamaha. Larry, yeah, Larry Reyes. It doesn't make sense there, so. But the real question is, where is Talon Hawkins? Where is right. Max Volan? Right. Leaders right in front of us, though. Gage Linville wants to dip out and get on out of the road, gone down the road. There's Larry Reyes in third. Well, he's in fourth. There's a okay. two fours. There must be a one or a slash on that other kid. It has to be. Because Volan's now working on Larry Reyes. And the 41 of Crockett Myers under the attack. Nice of the gas gas rider on the number 44 machine. So he's missing a four. He's trying to shave weight. Matty Jorgensen. There you go. So it's Linville, Jorgensen, Myers, Reyes. Max Volan is fifth. Miles Gil Gilmore. Tyreek Willer is seventh. Kate Britt, eighth. Josh Clark and Sage Lewis. Lewis and Clark running How ninth about and tenth. That? Showing this the way around this racetrack. <laughs> That's exactly what they're doing. Trailblazing. There it is. Talon Hawkins back in 14th. I still love it when it works out like that. Lewis and Clark both running. Ninth and ten. <laughs> we'll pick back up with our leaders. Got a good little battle there going on with the number 17 and the number four. That is Reyes, I believe, on that Yamaha. And let this race kind of settle in just a bit. So Max Volan and Reyes. Max got a little work to do. He can he can do it from yeah. fifth, though. He's got the speed, but those two kids out front. Gage Linville and Myers are going to be tough to beat. There is your running order. Linville out of Georgia, Myers, I believe, out of Texas. When he's not riding a dirt bike, he is building fences with his brother and his father. <laughs> That's their workout re regime. Just put the fence posts in the ground and try to eat as much calories to put on one pound of weight a month because it's so hard to do when you put that, that kind of output out. Well, right now, Max Volan needs to get up there. If he's going to make a run for the front of it, needs to get up there and make some time right now. Dispatch Larry Reyes and head after Matty Jorgensen. But uh, if you let these guys get away, Linville, Myers, Jorgensen, man, it's going to be a long day. Look at this. I think Volan's done it. He's gotten yeah. around Reyes. So he's into the number four spot. Still got plenty of time. But if you're Gage Linville, you got to go, man. You have absolutely got to get going. And Volan is late. scooting for sure. Yeah, late in the day now, uh, moving into about 3.30, going on 4 o'clock, starting to see some real, real challenging ruts. And talk about a uh, beach. There's Look Volan now. He is all over Crockett Myers. Here comes Linville. And oh. Volan now just muscles his way into the number two spot. He goes from fifth to second, just like that. Crockett Myers can only watch. Got a battle. Stay up in the mix. Stay in the fight. Matty Jorgensen is fourth. And Reyes rounds out your top five. Still looking for Talon Hawkins. He was 14th on the first lap on the Husk Barn of the 33 machine. I expect him to move all the way up towards the top five before this is over. Man, Volan filling the flow right now. He's extremely loose on that bike. Just really absolutely opened up a gap right now. He's going after Linville. It's uh, about a second difference in that lap time. I mean, he's running about a second quicker. Lots of time. This one's just getting underway. We're on lap number two. But uh, Volum with some clear track ahead. I might be able to dip that down into 157s. There's the EBR KTM ride. Crockett Myers as we widen the shot out to get Linville. And then you'll see the number 17 of Volum. There is Crockett Myers. And then you have Matty Jorgensen on a gas gas. On a gas gas. Yeah, there we go. When's the last time you said that at Loretta's? Uh, never. <laughs> okay. Not inside the top five. It's been a week of firsts. Absolutely. We got e-bikes. We got gas gas. 
Uh, We're racing. I mean, there's a yeah. lot of things I'm very happy about. So there's the number 17 that was Max Fuller. We'll pick back up with the 42 of Gage Linville. Again, pounding out laughs. Little Brian down there at MTF just yeah. whips these dudes into shape. And he has been down there for such a long time. Good to see that all that come to fruition for Gage Linville. Yeah, man, when you watch stuff like this, man, it, you just think back all those days you just wanted to, you know, have a milkshake. Sure. Or you just wanted to sit under the tree for a little no. bit, you know. And this but is no, why man, you do it. 30 more minutes. Absolutely. 30 more minutes. That's and when you earn your money right there. And this is where it pays. Right, you know what? Drink all the milkshakes you want, Sunday. Absolutely. You've earned it then. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the thing. He was a superstar standout on the 65s. He, uh -huh. he was, his career was skyrocketing. Right. Had some family issues, and then you just he, they just disappeared. He disappeared. He comes back when he's about 13, into the 85 run, kind of eases back into it, and here he is. He had to claw and fight for everything he's gotten to finally lead motos again. This is where they expected him to be when they had the big deal put together right. when he was on 65s and 50s. Way back when, so... How, I mean, life happens. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? These, these people out in the pits know that. They do. These people that are here with us, they know that. Life happens. Yeah, you lose a job, you, you know, a career change, you move, you lose that oh, track you got to yep. ride at, you lose the deal with it. That's whatever. Right. That's exactly Stuff right. Stuff happens. And, and, and sometimes it's very difficult to overcome. It can be something very, what seems like little to you and I, Kevin, but you know what? It just blows the whole program. Right. You know, well, and he was able to weather that storm. It, yeah. We're talking about Gage Linville, and it's uh, really great to see him leading the moto here on the number 42 right. machine. That's Crockett Myers. We just had the shot there on the 41. That's an EBR tuned motorcycle. Almost got in the whole shot. Josh and the boys at EBR can absolutely crush the motor and suspension for your bike if you need it done. There he is, Crockett Myers. And there comes that number 17. Uh, just picked up about another second and a half that time around. Just about 2.2 seconds faster that lap. So. Still in that 158 and a half, and lots and lots of time in this one. Talon Hawkins was 13th, dropped outside the top 15. Now he's climbing back up. So obviously had a few issues on the first lap, maybe tipped it over, and now he's on the comeback again. I still think he could probably get around that top five if he were to really put his head down on that 33 machine. He's the guy yeah. we expect to be challenging yeah. for a race win. I think it was more than just a crappy start there. I think we've blown a line or this or yeah. that, maybe run off the track, sure. that type of thing. Maybe put up an Instagram post there. Yeah, what, awesome whatever's thing. important. A quick selfie, yeah. Right. There's the number 16. We are having a look at Miles Gilmore and Cade Britt. The number 55 of Britt on that Yamaha. There's Gilmore. There's Britt. Different lines there. Gilmore was quick all day yesterday. Always went about the top three or four fastest yesterday. But, of course, practice race conditions today and uh, Gilmore running a 205 as opposed to the leaders 158. Right. How about that 158 by Linville? Yeah. He matches Max Volan that time around. Max slips back to a 159. So Gage dig is digging very deep. He knows he's got to beat Max Volan just mentally and psychologically. That's going to help so much. Yeah, it went from a 2.2 gap to a 3.5 gap. Sure. Makes a big difference. And look at this, though. So Volan, we all know the story. His dad raced in Europe. One of the few guys that could match Ricky Carmichael on a 125 for a short time there. So the, the lineage, the sure, yeah, Talon and Tyson both. So the family tree there, very strong there. And it's just cool to see how they approach racing. But he looks kind of Euro the way he rides and picks his lines out, runs the hand guards, obviously. I mean, that's a given. And like you said, that was his dad over there in Europe, you know, figured out how to ride smooth. You know, wasn't a charger, wasn't, wasn't, a, wasn't a rough rider, wasn't your Rick Johnson hammerhead. But uh, like you said, extremely smooth style, and it's effective the rougher the track gets. Sure, yeah, that's that, and as he goes farther into his career, that's when you're going to really see it pay dividends, like yep. you're saying, because when you can really dissect a tough, rough racetrack, that's where you become a great pro. All the guys are talented. They have great equipment, <laughs> and they're very fast on a motorcycle, but developing that racecraft is where it really comes into play. And as we watch the 42 of Gage Linville steadily put in, I wonder how many laps at MTF Oh my gosh! they put him through. Wow thousands and thousands of laps there you can just watch the barrels of vp drain just keep yeah, you just, just pump it out just bring pump the truck out. down there and <laughs> leave it and then look this time uh, again a uh, uh, 158 that time although that was still the yeah, last that's lap the same yeah lap. they We're still come back around yeah so now lap traffic now coming into play for our leaders there he comes they'll come in the view right in front of us dropping down just hucking it there's linville doing that crazy line and we've got a great Man. lap by volan he is closed into oh, about a half wow. a second Something happened there, maybe a lap rider, because we didn't see any kind of issues with your leader, Gage Linville. So Linville now has pressure squarely put on his shoulders. 
and Bolin just letting it come to him. Just exactly just, right. Just letting it come to him, not pushing the issue, not forcing it. Oh, Boy, he's forcing it now. He's he got to make a decision now. As soon as I said that, he made wow. a liar of And he me. almost goes oh, down. Oh, nice. He almost took Linville and himself out. Can Linville counter around the mechanics area? And Linville has to stand up on two feet He tried. There. He did. You have to go right back at him. And now, if you are Max Ball, uh, what are you about to do? The next two laps are going to be heaters. you got to make a break for it. And I can tell you right now, if that's what happens right now, uh, it's going to be easy to break the spirit of everybody behind you because you came from a good ways back. You made a very aggressive pass. And here you are pulling away now. Look there at this. Go. Going to start seeing mistakes now. See the head drop yep. and the yep. old body it, movements there? Exactly. But Gage Lindell knows what he's got to do. They train at this down at MTF. When, some, when you get past, you got to go right back. And Linville is oh, desperately yeah. trying yeah. to hit that triple on the 125 and latch on to Max Volan. And he hears the coach. He can and hear he the hears head. the coach. Brian, uh, old man Brian attack, Johnson. Attack, yep. attack. And you know... Uh, there was a triple there. Where woo. did that come from? Nice. But right now, few mistakes coming from that number 17 machine. Very few mistakes. So you're about at that five-lap point, very similar to when LeBlanc made his move. Yes when uh, fatigue might have come into play or you sat behind him long enough and now he is just starting to dip out. Man, look at that beach section. Looks fun, doesn't it? Man, oh man, I'd like to hit that just about 30 or 40 times in a row. Sure. <laughs> Wide open on your Elsinore. Yeah. <laughs> you would not live to tell the tale. Uh, not the first trip through. <laughs> nope. No. Nope. You would go bouncing into the stand. Oh, shoot. So here comes Volan right around us, the big right-hander. Different lines this time around. Volan can choose the line he wants, not really having to protect anything. No, no. Open, uh, open track, clean vision ahead of him. Clear air, not running into a bunch of lappers. Got one coming up here in just a moment. But right now, it uh, it belongs to Talon Bolin. It's his to lose right now. He's in command of the oh. track and the race, Kevin. Super smooth there by Bolin. Yeah, did you see that? just the little wheel tap down the other side? Just Perfectly. Minimum down. contact. Yep, minimum contact. So there it is. The levy has bust a 202 <laughs> now for Linville as 159 of oh, Bowling. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Spirit has been broken. <laughs> That's like when you get passed on a road bike on a climb and you just break through the right. peloton and somebody tries to go with you. All right, we're in the Pyrenees and my name's Lance Armstrong. Let's do it. Uh, we're in the Pyrenees. Oh, Going good. into the Ten Commandments now as we pick up with our leader, Max Volan, Linville trying to stay in fighting distance there for sure. And he is. Nice triple out there. I mean, uh, the problem is the guy you want to make a mistake is Max Volan. And he doesn't make a lot he of mistakes. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes by That's any means. a great means. point. I can count on just maybe one hand the, the races that I've seen him literally throw away. It doesn't sure. happen very often. Sure. And we, we have some other big-name riders here that can go 50-50, man. man they Records fly. are checkers. Sure. <laughs> Records are checkers. I they? remember thinking that about uh, Garrett Marchbanks and Pierce Brown. Both those kids, oh. they would win. They would win convincingly, yeah. and then they would just Marchbanks flip off would the racetrack. Just send it. Just yep. want it, you know. Just be in control of everything. This spectacular sure. cartwheel. <laughs> That's just things you got to learn as you develop as a pro rider. There's the 42. There's Linville. Touching down that great ride. He's still definitely in championship contention. As we see, Talon Hawkins, a guy we expected to win. He's climbed up to seventh. You know what can happen on a moto out here at Loretta Lynn. This is a, Take a such look. a rough racetrack. There's the 41 of Crockett Myers on that EBR yeah. ride. And he's got the four of Larry Reyes right there with him. That's a good battle. No matter where you go on this racetrack, correct. Yeah. If you look back to 20th, there's, there's a, a dude on knocking on your door. Knock, yeah. knock, knock. Oh yeah, there's a race anywhere that you look on this track, and just some of the some of the some of the races are a little more intense. Some of the battles are a little more intense. Mean a little more maybe, maybe not. <laughs> some guys like they have different goals. If you mean, I want to, I just want a top 10. I want right. overall a top, top 10 or 20. Sure. That's a, that's a legitimate goal, you sure. know. And let me tell you, there might be a guy fighting from 21st. Just as hard yep. as Max is, as far as his ability is concerned, Absolutely. his effort is concerned. And that's what's great. It feels just as good if you hit Man. your goal, if it's 10th, if it's 5th, right. or if it's a win. If you take out number 19, <laughs> okay, exactly. if, you're, if you're in that 20, Boom. dude, Got top winner. 20. <laughs> Going back home, a stud. You're going to yeah. go back to that little Saturday night race with some swagger. Did what you told your buddy you right. would do. You that's know, right. And they're watching back home. Goal. Yeah. They're all watching right now on Racer TV. We're watching Max Bolin. He sat there, stalked his prey. 
kind of man. flushed it out, if you will, <laughs> and pummeled it at about 30 he miles did, an hour. Man. He was back there shaking the bushes, and soon, sure. <laughs> soon as Gage Linville breathing through a straw, yeah. you know, just waiting <laughs> in the water. Soon as Gage Linville showed the weakness, man, it was oh, over. He attacked him. Yeah. It's like leaning down to get that drink out just of the river, and that alligator. croc brings you in, dude. Pulls that <laughs> poor Got little Got your elk. canteen, you know, it's, drags you in by your neck. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Uh, so it's Volvin. Little Impala struggling to get out. Oh, stop it. <laughs> It's not planet Earth here. Jeez, <laughs> uh, can you imagine that That guy, Ed, uh, was it David Attenborough? The tiny, oh, <laughs> the tiny number 42 machine takes a drink of water here. Out of nowhere. The vicious 17 <laughs> attacks. <laughs> Here's a top 10 look. It's a Volan out front, Linville Reyes at your podium. Myers just outside of that podium in the number four spot. Matty Jorgensen is fifth. Miles Gilmore is sixth. Talon Hawkins seventh. Kate Britt eighth. Avery Long is ninth, and Caden Switzer rounds out your top ten. That top ten brought to you by the Motorcycle Mechanics Institute. Look at those guys just oh, man. swapping left and right. That'd be the way my bike would handle it. Oh, not, look at that. Cut across the three lines. I'm going after him. That's Hawkins. Yeah. Hawkins just still working late into the moto, gets around. Awesome. Miles Gilmore on the Yamaha. That will put him in six. So awesome. keep digging deep. You might find yourself That's working it. towards a podium spot. That's lap number eight here in this 125-12-17 class. In. Oh, there, and Hawkins goes down. And guess where? It's in the Bermuda Triangle of turns, of course. That's where he went down. Talon Hawkins again. So the troubles continue for the number 33 of Hawkins. So two lap card is out, Kevin. Uh, next time around for Max Bowen, keep this thing on two wheels, gonna pick up that white flag and uh, it's a matter of cruise and don't lose. There's the number four on the Yamaha and that would be Larry Reyes Jr. So everybody kind of hovering at or above the two minute lap time. Bowling with a two minute 201 for Linville, 203 for Reyes, Crockett Myers, 205. And oh, there is the 42 pencil. of Linville. Linville working his way through some lap traffic. Somebody's bike is not running correctly, no, as you can see. Yeah. The spraying for mosquitoes, so you're welcome very much there, folks. That's about a half a gallon of oil. Oh, yeah. That, uh, what that means is you need a fresh top end, bottom end, something. There's the number 17. White flag comes out this time around for Max Volan. Volan just needs to work his way through about 15 more riders in terms of lap traffic. Same goes for Gage Limbo as he jumps over the tunnel of love as we wait for our third place rider to be Larry Reyes on the number four machine. Yeah, so critical right now for uh, Max, like you said, about 15 riders uh, that he's going to work his way through. Just really grab the brakes right there and have to be so careful. You know, somebody panics, moves over on you, and just not your fault whatsoever, and uh, boom, both of you yeah. laying in the Loretta Lynn stand. You know, I'm not sure about this tactic, pulling out the old oil slick. I'm not sure this late into a yeah. moto. I don't know if that's going to work. Should have done that in turn one. Sure. First just turn. smoke the crowd out for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. That bike is running rich. Uh, and there it went. So, uh, Still uh, running, man. Sean Connery right here. <laughs> <laughs> the old slick here. <laughs> Look at that thing. The durable uh, KTM with no oil still continues to circulate around this racetrack. The Pierce Brosnan edition. <laughs> you have your factory edition. And we have your Exxon Valdez edition right here. Yeah. The number 73, the 007. That's the number 73 ride. Tough break for him. Thank goodness the boys at the Orange Brigade can see that. They know that bike is coming their way right now. They're kind of stretching that, yeah. out their hammies. They know they got some work to do. Oh, boy. They're unwrapping gaskets right now. <laughs> Top end, put, bottom put, end. Put, put a little oil on that yep. bearing. <laughs> they got them ready. They're like, a, you know, when a doctor's delivering a baby, they just got their hands out ready. Gasket. To go. Bring it. Gasket. Circlip. Piston. <laughs> Ring. Ring. <laughs> 10 millimeter. 
Oh, shoot. All right, so we got one more turn for Max Volan. He is right in front of us. Come on, Max, make it through here. Rodney Tomlin is down there waiting for the number 17 of Max Rodney Boland. Tomlin. Well, now that'll do it for this edition of uh, the 125 uh, BC class. <laughs> As we get uh, ready to uh, toss it down to the podium to uh, me. <laughs> toss it to myself. So it's going to be Volan, Linville, and Reyes. One, two, and three. Reyes really fighting hard for that one. You can see him coming across the stripe here. Wow. Always. Talon Bolin just making a statement like Jeff Emick did with a black turtleneck back in 97. <laughs> we'll get ready to toss it down to Rodney. Hot Rod, what do you got? Oh, what I got is uh, three uh, probably hot and tired young men <laughs> making their way up to the podium right now to celebrate uh, this first moto of racing here at Loretta Lynn's. You know, again, rather cooler temperatures probably than years past, but I tell you, you're out here in the sun. The humidity's out here. It's starting to rise. It, 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 you couldn't tell any difference, to be honest with you, when you're out there under the intensity of what these riders are racing at. And right now, Max Fola making his way up to the uh, podium. He's uh, getting a little bit of a drink and talking to our friends uh, from the new Verb Moto, the new old Verb Moto, I guess you could say. And uh, they got some pretty cool shots going on with that. So we'll get Max over here. You can tell he's needing a drink of water. We got uh, Gage Linville will be bringing up, I believe, Larry Reyes also coming up. And our whole shot award winner will be Crockett Myers. These guys all take an extra second or two, it looks like, to uh, try and cool down. And this one is, again, uh, sun's starting to bear down. The, the overcast that we had earlier this morning kind of drifting away, and the intensity of the sun is, is warm. But these guys aren't necessarily shot. Uh, Max, if you want to come on up, buddy, we'll go ahead and get this uh, underway for you and congratulate you and get, uh, get you on your way as well. As Max makes his way up onto the podium. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Moto 1 winner here, Max Bolin. Max, a uh, heck of a heck of a ride for you, dude. I know these are these are never easy days at Loretta Lens, and the unknown variables coming into this one. Uh, been a while since you've raced with some of these guys, not knowing where everybody stood, but you knew where you stood, and here you stand at the end of this first moto in the center of the box, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I got to a pretty okay start, but I was on the outside, so I got pushed wide, and I moved way up pretty dang fast and I was in second before I knew it and then put my head down settled for about a couple laps did another charge again was able to pass them put my head down for as long as I can and here's it in the last few laps puts you in a pretty good spot knowing uh, how strong you could perform out here the conditions of the tracks getting pretty rough too huh yeah definitely well uh, I know uh, you didn't make it up here by yourself my friend who would you like to say thank you to I'd like to thank KTM Red Bull Trill Design Scott Goggles Acropobic my dad Hope, Nate Ramsey, my mechanic TJ, Prato Real Estate, John Moore, and everyone else. Thank you. Max Volan, ladies and gentlemen, taking the Moto One win here as we go to our second place position finisher. I believe Gage Linville will be bringing him up here in just a moment as Gage trying to get himself cooled down right now as well. I know, like I said, just a heated battle between these guys. You can see the energy depleted by these riders as they make their way on and off this podium here this afternoon. Hard-fought battles, no doubt, and a lot of training going into their uh, programs coming into this race. And these are the these are the types of motos that they train for, and they set themselves up for both physically and mentally throughout the uh, course of the off season. But uh, we all know you never really get the true taste of it till you get here at Loretta Lens. I need second or third or a whole shot award winner. Somebody needs to come over to the podium if we can get somebody over. If not, we can uh, head on back up to the. Uh, to the tower and get on with our next race but uh, i know these guys are all hanging out under here and it's hard to get them get them busy but yeah i don't care i just need somebody man all right and we got uh, i believe gage linville making his way up folks so let's put our hands together how about it for second place gage linville ladies and gentlemen Gage, I, I'm telling you, dude, I can, I can tell well, the way you guys are acting right now. You laid it all out there, man. You left it on the racetrack today. 
Yeah, for sure. Um, got off to the, uh, I think, second on the start. I passed pretty quick and uh, made a couple mistakes, and Max was able to catch him past me. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's riding good, taking nothing away from him. But uh, we'll focus on some couple things for the next one to be ready. You're looking pretty fresh after that 20-minute moto, my friend. Uh, something. <laughs> well, I tell you, uh, you, you obviously got uh, your, your things to work on for moto number two, feeling pretty confident. It looks like uh, by, your, your, by your body actions and by the way you're talking here right now. And I'm sure that uh, there's a lot of people that help get you to this confidence level. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I got to give it up to the Lord for keeping me safe. My mom and dad for everything they do. My stepmom, Lawson. Uh, David Wallace for everything he's done at MTF for getting me prepared for this. JMS, Fox, 100%, Roost, Monster Army, uh, MX Tire, Factory Connection, FMF, and everybody else. Thank you. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Gage Linville taking Moto Silver here today. As we move to our third place position finisher, Larry Reyes, as he makes his way up, he'll score himself a Moto Bronze fist bump on his way up. And how about it? Put your hands together for Larry Reyes, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Larry, uh, again, uh, another, uh, it's getting hot in the day, man, and uh, this track's getting rough, and that was a battle you guys had yourself in out there. Yeah, I got off to like a sixth or seventh place star, and I just had to charge. Uh, it's the tracks really really rough out there and uh, just there's a lot of lines so I just really had to look out in the side lap and uh, I just managed to go to the uh, other lines and pass well you made it made it into position you, you feel strong heading into these uh, second and third motos now yeah I feel great uh, I know my bikes there my fitness is there and um, I just got to put everything together and I just got to get a better start next time and I know I can run up front well who's uh, who's helping you get there I like that my mom and dad, my sister, uh, everybody at uh, Quicks Motor Range, Zach Mashburn, and Carl Regal, uh, Monster Energy, um, Scott, Roger at Seven, Kala Ethica, Garnet Boots, uh, Pro Taper, FMF, uh, uh, everybody else I forgot to think. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Larry Reyes, Jr. Tank in third place position here in Moto Bronze as uh, we head over to our whole, short award, whole Shot Award winner now. And that is going to be Crockett Myers as we bring Crockett on up. He picks himself up the uh, Stasic uh, Whole Shot Award and uh, heading up to the uh, podium for that one as he grabs that big old check that's, well, going to... Going to be tough to cash anywhere, but at the bank of Loretta Lynn's, that's for sure. And uh, Crockett, uh, I tell you, man, as you make your way on up, uh, you certainly got yourself off into a, a great position out there. Uh, great start, uh, but as we've learned today, uh, starts may be cre uh, critical to your, your racing, but uh, just because you get the start, don't mean that you're going to be able to hang on to that lead, man. You were under pressure right from the get-go on that one. Yeah, I just, I put my head down to start and uh, spun a little bit off the gate, but then my ABR performance motor was hooking up amazing off the start. And I ended up coming out first in the hole, so I threw up a little fist pump. And uh, Gage just came into the second corner really hot, uh, got into the lead pretty early. And then from there on out, I just tried to stay smooth, breathe, and uh, just ride my own race. Well, there you do it, man. You, you had a great run. Congratulations to you on picking up the whole shot. Anybody you want to say thanks to? I like to say thank you to the Lord Jesus Christ for keeping me safe, my mom, my dad, uh, Josh Rogers at EBR Performance, Mike for helping me out with my suspension, uh, Bell, Scott Goggles, uh, Alpine Star, Asterisk Knee Braces, Answer, um, Ethica, Kyle Foz, Dunlop, Nihilo Concepts, and my whole family for keeping me out there. Thank you so much. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Crockett Myers, your whole shot award winner. And that wraps up this podium now. As